Hey guys, you see here, I trade price, uh, it's a little close to 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, interesting market today, and I uh, just thought of making a quick video and, you know, just sort of discuss what's going on, give you my thoughts, since, uh, you know, people who like to follow my thoughts, I thought, you know, since I have not made a weekly video <laughs> in a uh, couple of weeks, of my laziness and some other stuff going on so uh, here it is okay so weekly chart right we still have one more day before the uh, final weekly bar is over so looks like uh, you know some really some damage done right with with okay let me pick the right color uh, okay some lower highs right in the weekly picture and lower lows this nice channel right so we are at the channel here i did take a long here uh it is also a 200 if i bring the exponential moving average uh i thought i had it okay so let's see i think we're almost there uh oh this is a weekly i'm sorry there you go so this is a daily view right so i mean i would expect some bounce from here right i mean if the risk to reward makes is, is as good so you might not go all the way up to, okay that's ninja trader going on uh, in the background let me check one more time one second uh ba, 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 ba. okay that's fine okay i disabled <laughs> uh the bot sorry it was going on in the background uh so uh qqq right so daily bar risk reward looks good for a long yes i mean a lot of people say it has to be sometimes three uh, bearish trend bars and you know third day is the day where you start buying uh, yeah could be that but i'm just taking my chance here to go long for a little bit of bounce back up if not then you know definitely low of the day can be your stop loss that's just uh that's just some good risk management there uh, some other charts are broken as well right spy we're already below the 200 day ema right there it broke down below the channel low here as well so weekly view from i think the definitely if we get if we if we break down this 410 right that's the weekly level that it can still try to target if not today maybe yesterday if not you know but that's 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 where it bounced from the last time uh we broke out of this level right here right so we have this four or oh, 3.8 below that uh if it wants to go but it did break the structure here right this is the level we broke out of uh back in april may time frame and since then this was the first time we we're trading back there so uh bearish but just getting getting a little slow now so apple earnings coming up not sure what will happen but it does seem to be technically speaking uh retesting this downtrend line right that it broke out of so right there this is if this has to move up this is its chance to kind of reverse back higher and earnings can be the catalyst to do that right but from the structure point of view 170.6 171 and below keeps it under pressure once above that we can you can see if it wants to break this uh active downside sequence that it's going on tesla a lot of people got caught in this one uh weekly view right so if you guys were following me on the uh discord and kind of just the charts on a daily basis you knew that it will be weak below this 235 because we had two touch points there right so once it got below that right with this bearish looking top wick uh and it broke below this uptrend line as well there was no way uh, or there was no reason to, to 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 look for longs right so you need to stay with the trend on a daily view uh gap downs right anytime we see a bullish day uh it's either a top wick or just there was no upside follow through after that right so it remains weak the level to look for on further weakness is right here 195.1 right you can kind of drift towards that price uh, but for now anything i think if i were to look in a daily view uh just everything below 219 or maybe actually even 214 right the high of today is is, is, is under pressure uh nvidia let's take a look at that uh it is breaking down let's see a weekly view a lot of people are 
calling this thing uh, head and shoulder, right? Something like that, with this being the neckline. It is below the neckline. Earnings is not until November, but with the rest of the market, it is sort of heavy and weak. But yes, it is at this level. If we get a close above 403.2 in a weekly time frame, then definitely if we drill down to daily time frame to see some sort of bullishness, uh, because then that will mean we have double touch points here and it can try to get back up. But right now the sentiment and mojo and momentum is so weak that you really want to stay with the trend which is down, right? Uh, don't want to, you don't have to, like for example, if you were, if you were trading, if, if you were here right now, right? There was no, yes, you could take a long hair and move, uh, and, you know, get benefit from this move up. But, but consistency is that once you see the active sequence on the upside, you get long on pullback, right? Maybe on this pullback right here and then ride this till here, something like that. You, you don't know where the bottom is. So right now I don't know where the bottom is, right? So you need to see some, some, some rejections of the downside moves. And then you, you know, you look for a pullback in a daily time frame or lower time frame to get back in. Uh, let's take a couple of more. Amazon earnings today after close. We'll see what happens. It's below 200 day moving average uh, in a weekly view. Uh, yeah, it just looks a little weak. I think if it sells down to maybe 113 after earnings, that could give it a bounce, right? That's where we have multiple touch points. That's where it broke out of last time. So uh, that is one. Let's take a look at Meta. I did play puts on this one. I did take a position on this one. I think it was Monday, right? I think it was probably right here right the rejection off of this trend line and this this there was no uh the, the trend was down and the upside days were overlapping as you can see right overlapping uh that shows yes it's an update but it's not really convincing and it was a top wick so i looked for a pullback on the upside which was right here and then you know i think i covered around three or four but it kept on falling down so good there but yeah so 298 285.8 was this is a weekly weekly support if it closes above that not bad you know you can see some bounce back towards the back testing of this uptrend line that it broke down from but other than that it's just weak right so we'll, we'll let it settle down look at other charts tesla microsoft everything i mean if you, you could have just thrown anything out there on the short side and made money because the way it was setting off this earnings pop right uh <laughs> it totally filled the gap here the earnings gap right so a great short if anybody caught it uh because 345 there was no way this thing was going to rally in this sort of a market environment and you can see the failure came in right at this touch point right there right so there was no closure in daily above that although it opened up there but it just sold off so there we go We'll see what happens next but let's take a quick look at nq as well uh yeah i mean intraday 200 day moving average let's see maybe friday tomorrow is a bullish day and we go back above towards the middle of this this 14,600 to 14,217. and if you look at this chart breaking down below 706 right that for the longest time it was holding that level once we broke down below that it was all easy shorting if you look at it this one right there um, and i do post these charts actively throughout but but let's see there you go so seven or six right it was holding that level since monday morning right bounce right there bounce right there a little bit of bounce but then once it broke down on wednesday <laughs> it just kind of kept on like now 14,400 can be a level to look for a retrace bound if it gets there right now we really need to get above i would say about 256 14 256 14 to 60 that's your sort of a intraday pullback level all right hope you guys like this video if you have any questions comments let me know talk to you soon